In this video, I'm gonna be installing the SEO plugin Rank Math. It's a plugin that I've heard so many good things about. Everyone's raving about it. They say it's way better than Yoast. It's the only SEO plugin you need right now. It's got all the features that you need and it's completely free. And if you want you know, those features with Yoast, you've got to pay for them. So yeah, it's basically a no brainer. You've got to install Rank Math. So today I'm gonna to be switching over from Yoast on bestroofbox.com, which is my Amazon affiliate website. I'm gonna take you through it completely off the cuff. I've not installed the plugin yet or anything like that. We're just gonna, gonna do it. I'm gonna show you exactly what the process is and you know if we come across any errors or anything like that, I'll share them with you as well. But I've heard it's really easy. Well, in fact, I do know it's quite easy because I've installed it on another site previously and it, it seemed to work pretty well. There's a, a nice setup wizard and it can import all your settings from uh, any existing SEO plugins that you happen to be running, including Yoast. And basically, yeah, it takes care of all of it for you. It's got a lovely interface really easy to use. Now, I was a little bit nervous about doing this because my website is doing pretty well in organic search. In fact, you know, the graph is going up every single month in terms of the number of keywords that I'm getting indexed for and the amount of traffic I'm getting for organic search. So I really do hope that what I've heard is true and that Rank Math is an excellent plugin and it's not gonna have a negative effect on my search engine traffic. And of course, I will keep you guys updated on the effect that it has. I'll do another video in a month or so on exactly what has happened in terms of organic traffic since switching over to Rank Math. Anyway, I think that's enough looking at my face. Just one last thing before we get on the computer. If you're not already subscribed, why not do so right now? Just click the button below. Make sure you click the bell to be notified of my latest videos. I try and upload every single week. And if you're not up to date with everything that I've been doing on my affiliate website, bestroofbox.com, then do check out the playlist that's appeared in a card up there includes all of the updates and all of the stuff around the site, including how much money it's making and how much traffic it's getting. So yeah, do go check it out. But anyway, let's get on the computer. Let's get Rank Math set up. So here we are, I'm over at bestroofbox.com. I'm logged in, ready to go. So let's start by installing Rank Math, the plugin. I'm gonna leave Yoast installed for now because I think Rank Math will help me uh, transfer all my settings over from Yoast. Well, let's see, shall we? So I'm gonna to go to plugins and add new. Then in this box up here, I'm gonna type in Rank Math. It should of course be Rank Maths, but we'll let that one go. This first one that comes up, I'm gonna click install now. And then I'm gonna click activate. Okay, so that's activated. Let's uh, jump into the settings. So I've got this new area here uh, called Rank Math, funny enough. Let's give it a click. So the first step is to sign in with your Rank Math account. You can get one for free by clicking on this link. I've already got one because I set this plugin up on <laughs> another website of mine. So um, let me just log in then. So it's really easy to sign up, you just click on that and you can do it with like Facebook or email address, you know, whatever. So let's click activate Rank Math. It says we're good to go, so let's start the wizard. Now it's saying we can import some settings from Yoast. So yeah, we'll definitely do that. And we can import our redirections um, from our redirections plugin. So why not? Let's uh, let's do that. Doing the Yoast import now. There we go, that's all done. Let's click continue. So now we're gonna be setting up some things about the site. So it's asking what type of site uh, Best Roof Box is. It's not really a personal blog. I'd say it's an other business site, maybe. Business type is a, uh, wow, there's lots of things in here, isn't there? 
I'd imagine organization is probably fine. What have we got? Anything else? Educational organ? No, we're not a school, are we? Nothing else is jumping out at me. But of course, you look through here and find something that suits your website. But if it's an affiliate website, I guess it's just an other business website organization. Company name is bearfruitbox.com. Yeah, that's fine. Here's the logo for Google. It says a squared image is preferred by the search engines. But then the sizes it's recommending are not square. So I'm gonna leave that as it is for now. It wants a default social share image. Let's have a look what we've got. Any kind of featured image type thing will be fine. Just need something with a roof box on really. And what do we got in the media library here? Something like, uh, like this. Not quite big enough, but um, that'll be fine. So we continue. So now we're gonna hook up to the Google Search Console. So let's click Get Authorization Code. Choose my account. Yeah, 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 that's all fine. Let's copy this code. Paste it in. Oh, it's, it's done it. Yeah, I don't even need to click Authorize, it's done it. And that is the correct profile, so that's fine. Let's click Save and Continue. We want sitemaps on. I'd imagine that the sitemap is the same URL as Yoast, hopefully. So we don't need to update our Google Search Console. Include images, yeah, why not? Posts and pages, yep. Categories, it's all fine. I'm gonna leave that as it is. This is easy, isn't it? Right, optimization. No index empty category and tag archives. Yep, okay. No follow external links. Uh, yep, that'd be good, because a lot of my external links are Amazon affiliate links, and really they should be no follow. And automatically open external links in a new tab or window. Yep, leave that on. So enable auto update of the plugin. Yeah, we could turn that on, couldn't we? Proudly show the SEO score to your visitors. No, I don't think we'll do that. Now let's jump into the advanced options, have a look what we've got in there. It's the role manager. Now the editor, I think can do titles and metas. I do have an editor, so I probably should give them the option to do that. Could do advanced settings as well, I trust them. I uh, don't need to go through all of those different roles. So if you've got other users to access your site, you're obviously gonna to wanna to set those options. But if you don't, then probably don't worry about it too much. 404 monitor, it's a really good thing to have. Should we turn that on? And combined with redirections, it'll automatically redirect the 404, so that's good. Click save and continue. We do want rich snippets. And it's for articles, yep, definitely articles. Now the article type is an article, it's not really a blog post, they are generally articles. Rich snippet type for pages. Um, it's unlikely that any of my pages are gonna really come up because they're just like about us pages and stuff. So I'll leave it as article for now. And I don't need my templates having any rich snippets, so let's leave that. Okay, we're in, we're done. Jobs are good. So, uh, wow, there's loads of things here. We've turned on most stuff. Most of the stuff that I need. I haven't got Buddy Press, I haven't got AMP, BB Press, any of that stuff, so that's all fine. So before we go much further, let's just check that it's turned off um, those other two plugins, Yoast and the Redirections. Yep, turned it off, perfect, and turned it off. The redirection plugin, now I will remove these shortly, but I'll leave them there just for the time being, just to make sure everything's working correctly. Let's go back into the Rank Math SEO dashboard. 
First thing I wanna check is that search, uh, console, not search console, sitemap I should say. I wanna check that the URL is the same, which it is, let's have a look. Looking good, looking good. There's a lovely sitemap, perfect. So you've got some lovely easy settings here for your sitemap, it's much clearer and easier to use than Yoast. I can already see that. So you can go through and decide what you want to include in your sitemap. Generally you wanna include posts and pages. If you've got products, they also appear here and you will of course wanna include them. Media, I don't think it's that important to include media in a sitemap and I don't know what those my templates are, but that's to do with Elementor, I think, isn't it? So I don't want them. Categories, yes. Tags, no. That's all good. So I think we're pretty much all done, really, aren't we? Let's have a look at the redirections. Yep, they've all come across nicely. So generally, the redirections I've got on this site are just when I've changed the URL on a post. Um, it's automatically added a redirection so people don't get a 404 error. They seem to have all come across. I better just clear my cache, um, cache, whatever you like to call it, as we made quite a significant change to the site. Just gonna check everything's working. Still got my title tag up there. Just have a look at a post. Let's just check the title tags are all good. Yeah, the title tag's all good. Now, of course, I probably need to go through all of my posts and start to optimize them using Rank Math. Let's just have a look at this one. And I'll optimize this one quickly, show you how it all works. It's very similar to Yoast. You get this panel here. You need to come into the kind of standard WordPress editor. I'm not sure it integrates that well with Elementor at the moment. So just, you know, edit post rather than edit with Elementor. And we need to set a focus keyword for the post. Ford Explorer. SUV roof box. Yeah, that's what I want, thank you. Now you can actually set more than one keyword, which is good. You can't do that in the free version of Yoast, you need the premium one to do that, so let's just set one more. Explorer roof box. And that other one that I just saw pop up. These are all suggestions, I guess it's pulling these in from Google or somewhere. Roof, cargo, box. There we go, that's fine. So in terms of the basic SEO, we're doing well. Look at this, ting, 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 lots of ticks. I'm not sure why I made that noise, I do apologize. Additionally, we've got some ticks. Your SEO title doesn't contain a number. I don't think I can push a number into this title. <laughs> Um, what else we got? It says my uh, flesh readability score is fairly difficult. Well, I'm not gonna rewrite the entire article right now, but yeah, I'll bear that in mind. Yeah, and that's it. So <laughs> you just gotta work through here and make sure you get all ticks, which because my articles are written so well um, with SEO in mind, I've already done it. Let's check the advanced. So we do want it indexed, of course we do. If for whatever reason you didn't want a piece of content indexed, you'd tick that one over there. All the rest is fine. You can set a canonical URL here, so uh, if you've got two pages that are similar or you've got duplicate content or whatever, you can let Google know which one is the most important one in the main page. So that's advanced, let's have a look at the rich snippet. It's taken those settings um, from the settings that we set just a moment ago, so they're all fine. Social, we can add a image, which of course would be that one. So let's do that. I'm not sure you really need to do this on every post because it will, in theory by default, take the featured image. And we could tweak this if we wanted to, but. You know, it looks fine. Add icon overlay to thumbnail. Hmm, I don't have an icon I want to add. I guess if it was like a video or something, you could use that. Plus you get that scary message, <laughs> which put me right off. So let's turn that off. There we go, that's all the rank math settings done for that post, so yeah. 
Of course, when I'm adding new posts, I'll make sure that they're all optimised using that and I will slowly over time go back through all my old posts and just make sure they've got um, all those green ticks. So there we go, I mean, that's it, that was easy, wasn't it? Really easy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mark in my Google Analytics um, today's date and a little note that says that I've switched to Rank Math so that I can keep an eye on what effect it has on my SEO traffic. You know, I'm confident that it's gonna be a positive one. And of course, I'll do an update video um, in a few weeks, once I know. But yeah, we're all done. So that brings to the end of this video. As I said, I will, of course, do an update video soon on the effect that Rank Math has had on the organic traffic to the site. I'd love to know your experiences with SEO plugins. What are you using? Are you still using Yoast or are you using Rank Math or maybe all in one SEO or, or something else? Let me know in the comments. I do read all the comments that I get and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed, you can do so right now by clicking on my face. Why not check out my vlog channel? It's up there somewhere. Click on my other face. I have been uploading to it for the last couple of weeks, so yeah, do go check those videos out. And if you fancy watching something else on this channel, there's a couple of videos that have been chosen specially for you, so I hope you enjoy them. Until next time, bye for now.